there, good looking. Join me for this total body metabolic conditioning workout for every level of fitness. That is right. No matter where you are in your fitness journey, I'm going to meet you there with this workout. Now, we are going to get the heart rate up, train the muscles, and have a ton of fun. All you need is one pair of moderate weight dumbbells. For reference, I have a pair of 15s. And if you own a BOSU ball, grab that. A step would also work. Now, if you're a beginner, I'd also like for you to have a chair nearby because we will be doing burpees, spoiler alert, and a chair elevates the ground and really makes the burpee a lot more manageable for beginners. Now, if you don't own a BOSU or a step, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how you can do all of the exercises without them. All right, gather your equipment and let's go get warmed up. Hey there, welcome to the workout. All right, before you get started, you want your watches on for this. Yes, let's track this exercise session. If you have an Apple Watch, I'm using a HIT setting. If you have, you know, watch, other type of watch, then please find something similar. All right, let's get warmed up. Big arm circles, feet apart, knees are soft, warming up into the shoulders. Let's take the circle going backwards and then really stabilize so the core is solid. You're not moving around in the lower body. So we have, what do we got? Two, four, six different exercises. I have them written down just below the camera here. And we're working different times. So the strength exercise will be for 45 seconds, and then we're going to move to a higher intensity drill for 30 seconds and flow through that circuit like so. Last three, two, and one. Take it out, step it, push the bum back, and the other side. As you go, maybe take it a bit deeper. You're always, though, keeping the toes, knees, hips, and shoulders to me, and then if you're able to, reaching across with that opposite hand to the toe. So if side lunges don't work for you, right, you just take it a little bit. You always find a range of motion that's going to work for your body, and each day is going to be a little different for you. Four more. Last one. Excellent. Now left hand to the ground, right foot in front, and have that left hand on the outside of the shoulder. Now let's take the right elbow, try to bring it as close to the ground as we can, and then rotate and look up. Good. Let's do five more. Back leg is straight, strong, and powerful. Two more. One more. Now step this leg back into high plank, hold, feet apart, just for a few seconds, hold it, come on, shoulders away from ears, three, two, one, now step or walk the left foot beside the left pinky, we want again this right hand on the outside of the shoulder, left elbow to ground, rotate, look up, five more. One more. Good job, come into a standing position. Whew. Toes slightly turned out, inhale the arms up, exhale, fold forward, grab the toes, drop the tush, heels on the ground. Find that balance, we don't want the heels off. All right, now bring the arms up, push through the heels, drive up. Here, let's do it again, come down, drive down, weights on the ankles, heels are on the ground, reach up, drive up. Two more, working ankle, knee, hip, Shoulder, T-spine mobility. Last one. All right, single leg kicks, ready. Foot coming to hand. We have eight. Warming up into the hamstrings and glutes here. Two more. Last one. Other side, try to get that hand up there. Last two, one more. All right, so I'm gonna get my BOSU set up. If you don't have one, no worries. You're going to see mini me up in the screen showing you the alternative exercise. However, the alternative looks exactly as the BOSU drill does just without the BOSU. So it'll make a lot of sense once we get going. If you're using a step, by all means, that's gonna work. 
If, as I mentioned, burpees are not your jam and you are a beginner, or if you don't even know what a burpee is, then have a chair nearby. You're going to see Mini-Me doing the alternative on that one. As I mentioned, we have those six exercises. Let's grab a quick sip because we have five rounds. Yep, today's no joke. <laughs> but don't worry, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to meet you where you are, wherever you are in your fitness journey. So you will be able to get this done. All right, let's hold on to one dumbbell. Bosu out of the way. We start with a squat and diagonal press. This is our strength exercise. So we're moving for 45 seconds. We'll have 15 second transition and then onto a more higher intensity exercise for 30 seconds, 15 second rest, and then flow through another series like that. All right, awesome. You're gonna hold the dumbbell here. Feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out. Ready, three, two, one. Now drop down into a squat, and as you come up, you're gonna pivot on the foot and press on a diagonal plane. So we've gotta pick up that foot as we turn. The knee likes that, it doesn't like to stay in one place as you turn. Sinking the bum back. Now if you have any shoulder issues and pressing up isn't gonna work for you, you just hold the dumbbell, and you'll do a regular squat, no twist. You just go up and down. Breathing, sinking as deep as you can, advance people, see if you can get the elbows to touch the tops of your thighs. Time, dumbbell off to the side, make sure that it's out of your way so you don't trip on it. I'm going to do a up and then jump back burpee. You can also do a up and step back burpee. All right, chair for beginners, ground or BOSU, go. Now when we do this burpee, we wanna keep the feet wide so we bend the knees, not bending the back. When we jump it back, we're landing soft. When the hands are underneath the shoulders, they're lined up. Time, all right, grab your dumbbells. We're taking it into a chest press and then we'll bridge, moving bridge with it. Head and shoulders on the BOSU or ground, elbows down, all right, wrists slightly ahead of the shoulders. And then as you drive up, hips come up. As you come down, hips come down. So we combine a bridge with our chest press, working both upper and lower body. If you're on the bow, so you gotta kind of find that sweet spot so that the neck is comfortable. I can get in it quite quickly because I've been working with this sucker for years. So hang in there if you're new to it, <laughs> you'll learn. And it'll become a second nature for you. 45 seconds of work here, and then we're standing for a 30 second cardio drill. Straighten those arms with every rep. Time, whew. All right, dumbbells out of the way, so again, we don't trip on them. Okay, left foot on the ground or on the BOSU. You have two repeater knees, third one, jump. Or you can just do a repeater knee without the jump. So it goes one, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up. So I'm not going that high when I do the third one. If you're on the ground, you're probably gonna get more air. One, two. Now you're gonna lean forward slightly. Time, Whew. So we'll do a strength exercise and then the other leg, all right? Bend your legs to get the dumbbells. This is a hip hinge. Come down, follow me. Hip hinge, row up. Come up, do a hammer curl. Good, now these are heavy dumbbells, so do your best with a hammer. You can also hold on to one dumbbell end to end for the row and the hammer curl. So the dumbbell would be in front of you. Knees are soft. Good. So a bit of a deadlift pattern as well. 
row, squeeze those shoulder blades. Up, curl, squeeze those biceps. Time, dumbbells out of the way again so we don't trip on them. We've got that other leg. All right, moving into that repeater knee. And then we can just add this if you like, or you can add the hop every third. Totally up to you. Remember, this is your workout. I'm just here to lead you a little bit, <laughs> cue you, get you set up, and then you follow what's gonna feel best for you. Woo! Now this is our last move, okay? We're taking it back to that squat diagonal press for round two. There's a lot of balance, so if you can't do the hop, hang in there. As you can see, time, I'm barely hanging in there. All right, so just one dumbbell for that diagonal press. Now feet are shoulder width, dumbbells held here, press is optional. Take it down, take it down nice and deep if you're able to. All right, and then as you come up, you twist the lower body, not the knee. So you pick the foot up. Good. It's a real functional move here, because not everything is right in front of us when we're in real life, is it? So here we're training out of that frontal plane, going transverse. Getting you strong for life. Time, all right, dumbbell out of the way. Again, I don't want you to trip. <laughs> okay, Bosu burpee, you can use a chair, step, couch, coffee table, or join me on the Bosu. Reach it first, step or jump back, up to you, go. 30 seconds, really pick up the tempo for these 30 seconds, okay? Gaze at the top of the mat. Remember, feet wide, bend the knees, not the back. Time, all right. Chest press with that moving bridge. Whew. Dumbbell in each hand. Let's get the head and shoulders supported. Start with the bum down, heels close to the glutes. Now as we press up, we drive the hips up. As we press up, we exhale. Dumbbells touch above the chest, not the head. Arms go straight. When we lower down, back of the arms either hitting your ground or your bosu. Elbows are staying in front of those shoulders. That protects your shoulder joint. Repeater knee coming up. Time, all right. So left leg, okay? And again, if you're on the ground, it's one, two, up, and that drive is totally optional. Bosu, drive is optional as well. Three, two, one, go. One, two, lean into it. One, two, move those arms. Keep your eyes on something stationary to help you balance. Again, my foot is barely leaving my BOSU, but I can feel it. I'm working the power, calf, hamstring, glute. Time, whoo, yeah, that one's effective. All right, we've got the rows and then we stand for the curls. All right, set up with our feet, our hip width now. Abs are engaged. Now give me that hip hinge. Row up, squeeze the shoulder blades, release. Now stand, keep the palms facing you for a hammer curl. Good. Now once you've seen me, take the gaze in front, neck lines up with the spine. 
pushing the hips rear as we do those knees. Whoops, I just did a curl. Those knees soften. Other repeater knee coming up. Time. Whew. Dumbbells out of your way. I don't want you to have perfect form on that exercise and then trip over a dumbbell. <laughs> All right, so two repeaters. Third one can be a jump if you'd like. Go. We can grab a super quick water after this. We'll be flowing into our third round. Time, Woo. real quick, real quick. And then one dumbbell to your chest, get set up for your squat. Feet shoulder width, and go. So, it's gonna be less cueing, less talking for me. You know what you're doing now. So I want you to see if you can perfect the form, your rhythm, your pace. Keep it consistent. Burpees are coming up. Time, all right. Whew. Heart rate's getting there. So remember, elevate the hands if you're not loving the burpees. It really makes a difference. With you on the BOSU, feet are apart. And now bend the knees, jump or step it back, reach it. Good. Time, Whew. just in the nick of time too. All right, chest press with that moving bridge. Dumbbell in each hand. We're on the ground or head and shoulders are on your BOSU. Heels are close to the bum. Drive the hips, press these dumbbells. Lower the hips, lower the dumbbells. When we're driving the hips up, push through the heels. You can get more glutes. If you're feeling the hamstrings, back of your thigh, and not glutes, maybe bring the heels in a little closer. Time, come on up. Repeat her knee. On the ground, on the BOSU. Every third one, jump if you'd like. Now we wanna be forward leaning, all that weight on that front leg. Abs engage, move the arms, help yourself out. One, two, pump it if you like. One, two, pump it. One. So that power is coming from the foot that's on the ground, not from the knee lifting up. Time, Whew. that really can get you there. And the keatster, what we call the glutes. <laughs> All right, we got row to curl, feet hip width, 
Abs engage, neutral spine, let's do it. Bicep curl. So hip hinge, row up, drive the hips forward, curl the hands to the shoulders. Gaze is in that same spot, the entire set. Time. All right, other leg repeater. Again, clear the area. <laughs> no tripping. All right, right leg. Whew. This one gets me. You too? Yeah. One and a two and hop. There's your rhythm. Time. Woo. All right. Fourth round. <laughs> Woo. Once we're done this one, it's clear sailing from here. Okay, so one dumbbell. Squat to diagonal press. Press is optional. Take it down deep. Up. Time, whoo, Bosu ball, burpee, our hands on your step, chair, elevate them, or don't, make it real tough. Bend the knees, reach it first, go. Step or hop, go. So obviously, the closer to the ground you are, the harder this exercise is. I find for most people in my community that own a BOSU ball, they typically hate burpees, but they don't mind them with the BOSU. <laughs> that little extra pop up just makes them a little easier to manage. Time, chest press with bridge. <laughs> they suck a little less, let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, head down. Here we go, drive the hips, drive the arms. Remember, we want the feet hip width, heels close to the bum, and we're driving through those heels to lift up your hips. Those dumbbells are ending above the chest, not your head, touching center with straight arms. Time. Whew, repeat her knee, left side. Whew. Everything's starting to feel it now, which is good. We're near the end. Okay, so it's a hip hinge. Tighten up that quad muscle. Ready? It goes one, two, pop it if you like. One, two, pop it. One, two, pop. Ah, 
time. Whew. Oh man, that bites. <laughs> All right, row to curl. Whew. Don't worry, we'll do some good glute stretches when we're done. I think we deserve it, right? <laughs> so feet hip width, let's get into that hip hinge. Row up, lower down slow, drive up, curl slow, so not swinging. Almost there. One more curl, finish it. Yes, good job. All right, repeat her knee, right leg. Okay, here we go. We got this. Lean into it. Here we go, it goes one, two, pop if you want to. One, two, add those arms though. Time, whoo, all right, last round, whoo, here we go, this is it. All right, squat with diagonal press. So feet shoulder width, dumbbell held up, squat low, last set, let's do this, come on. Time, whoo, all right, burpees for the last time. Again, I don't mind them, whoo, with the BOSU. <laughs> Here we go, reach it, bend the knees, go down, step or jump, go. Time, whoo, chest press, moving bridge, dumbbell in each hand. Head and shoulders supported. Heels close to the bum, hip width apart. Whoo, ready, go. Push you those heels, get those glutes activated. Now drive those dumbbells up. Pressing through those pec muscles, shoulders, triceps. We're almost there, you guys. You've been going hard for almost 30 minutes. You're so close. Come on, keep the tempo, keep it moving. Time, repeat her knee now. Whew. Whew. I'm not popping up like I did on that first round, am I? <laughs> it's like a roll and crawl up. <laughs> Left leg, ready, go. So one, two, pop if you want.
time. Whew. All right, row to curl. Last two moves. Our setup again. You want feet hip width on this. You don't want to go wide. Shoulders back and down. Soften the knees. Hip hinge. Now row. Stand. Hammer curl. Don't swing those arms. Good job, you. Now when we come down to in that row pattern, make sure those shoulders don't round. So you gotta be really aware of many things on this move. Your focus should be on you, what you're doing, how you're doing it, muscles you're training. Time. This is it. Dumbbells out of your way. Whew. We got that repeater knee. Okay, right leg. Lean into it. Pump those arms. Three, two, one, go. It's one, two, pop if you want. Time, woo, well done you, all right. Walk it out, grab a sip of water. We're gonna cool it down before I let you go for the rest of your day, okay? All right, march it out, grab a sip of water as I said. Woo, cheers to you, good job. Five rounds, that's no joke. All right, we're gonna let the heart rates come down a little bit with a couple of standing stretches, and then we'll head down to our mat. If you'd like, hold on to something stationary, heel up to the bum, pull the knee back and squeeze the bum forward. If you want to work balance, let go of that object and stabilize yourself with a bent knee. Now look, not everyone's going to be able to grab their foot. I totally understand that and don't think you have to. You can grab onto your leggings, your shoe, or grab a yoga tie or an old neck tie, your bathrobe tie, piece of rope and wrap it around and hold your foot there. I really recommend if you're starting out building your home gym, having a yoga tie, or as I said, you can use an old neck tie. That's what I actually use. <laughs> and some yoga blocks. So not books, but actual yoga blocks. Those two things will be invaluable to you. As we age, inevitably our range of motion decreases. So by building the ground up or adding length to our arms with a rope or a band really helps with our stretches. So we're not struggling and straining other areas of the body to stretch and release one area. Other side. Now, the yoga blocks are super inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon, or if you prefer to shop local, you can get them in any local fitness store. And as for the actual yoga strap and old necktie, head to your thrift store, go pick one up for a dime, <laughs> quarter. <laughs> All right, let's take the left knee on the mat, knee underneath the hip, and then lunge forward just slightly. Tighten up that left glute and then lean back. So we've earned a bit of spinal extension. You should feel a really nice stretch in that left hip flexor. Now let's get a little bit more by inhaling that left arm straight up and then exhaling and leaning away from the hip. This is a little stressful on that back knee. Quickly double up your mat. And then we're going to do my signature move, slowly drop this top arm behind the body, circling it nice and slow. Ah, love that one. Let's do the other side. So we want knee under hip. Good. Let me go to this side so you can see. Right knee under hip. Then lunge forward just a bit. This front knee and ankle are aligned. And then here's the important step is tightening that right glute. Now add that extension into the spine. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, lean away. Good. 
Back to center, circle this right arm nice and slow behind you. <sighs> Big toes together. Good. Knees are open a bit. Left hand on the mat. Take the right arm, extend it up, look up, and then bring it under. Let's do that again. Right arm, extend it up, look up. Now this time bring it under and sit back onto the heels. And then this left arm, walk it around the lower back and see if you can grab onto the right thigh. Let's bring the hand back, left hand. Use the left hand to press yourself up and then take this right arm back up to the ceiling and then place it underneath the body. Left hand, reach it up, look up, bring it under. One more time, reach it up, look up. Now bring it right under. Resting on the side of the head, sitting back on the heels a bit. Right hand walks around the body. See if you can grab onto that left thigh. And back to center. Bring the knees underneath the hips. Separate the hands, fingers as wide as you can. Turn the fingertips towards you, palms flat on the mat. So you may need to shift forward. And then from here, tuck your toes under and just sit back onto your heels until the bottoms of your hands start to lift off of your mat and hold. Getting into the forearms here. Now as we draw back, the fingertips are going to be the very last to pull back and really bend into the joints, stretching into the hands and release. I love that one. <laughs> All right, taking yourself into a seated position. Take that right leg so you won't be mirroring me out. Inhale the left arm straight up. Little side bend while this arm travels on the inside of the knee, opening up that shoulder the gaze up to the ceiling and hold. You can take it as deep or as little as your spine can handle. Release, now situate yourself so you're squared with that foot, that leg. Inhale straight up, exhale fold forward. Try not to round the back. We're just trying to get the stretch into the hamstring. If you'd like, you can place your hands behind you. That's going to make you um, really aware of keeping the spine aligned and leading more with the chest as opposed to the head. A couple breaths. You're gazing just past that right toe, pressing that right knee into your mat. And back up. All right. Let's take the left leg, start out to the side. Other leg in. Inhale that arm up. Exhale, side bend. Slide this hand on the inside of the leg and now turn the chest, heart, and gaze up to the ceiling. Release, now let's square ourselves to the foot, okay? Inhale up, exhale forward, fold. Maybe here is where you're at or back with hands behind you is where you're more comfortable. All right, final stretch for the glutes. Line on your back. Cross the left leg completely over the right, just like you're sitting cross-legged. Pull both knees into the chest, and if you're able to, bring the hands underneath and place them on top of that right shin, and then pull the knees in. This is a really nice stretch. You're going to feel it on the left glute. And then see if you can just sort of relax the other areas of the body. You'll be aware of that back of the neck, making sure it's long. Face is relaxed. 
shoulders as best you can. Maybe you're even closing your eyes and just focusing on the breath and the feel of that left glute getting a stretch. And then what other sensations are you feeling in the body? What else is going on? Two more breaths. Right foot to ground. Now let's cross that right leg over the left. Pull in, hands on top of that left shin, and pulling the knees straight in towards the chest. And then the same thing, just being aware of where else you're holding tension and are you able to release it. Yes, you're going to use some muscles because we're holding the legs up, but can we use very minimal? Can we just melt into the mat? Allow that mat to hold us, that ground to support us. Couple more breaths. Release the legs, straighten them, length of your mat, arms go overhead, reaching at fingertips to toes. Ah, then bend the knees, rock yourself onto one side. Let's use those arms of ours to get ourselves up into a seated position. Best way to get up without straining your back. These are sort of things we need to think about as we're over 50. <laughs> nice and tall on your spine. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your support and I love reading your comments. So please drop one below. I'd love to hear from you. And you can also help this video out by clicking that thumbs up. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you're here on YouTube because I would love to keep working with you. Bye. don't have one, no worries, because there's going to be a little mini me in a corner screen, which will show you the exercises without the BOSU. However, heads up, it'll make really a lot of sense. It would, <laughs> it's doing so well. <laughs> make really, it'd make really a lot of sense if I went back to school, I think.